Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com, and you've heard it said that two are better than one, but I'm going to do one better today as we take a look at the Session Keys Acoustic Bundle from E Instruments. Okay, we're back. And if it's your first time visiting the channel, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe and click on that notification bell because I have been doing a lot of reviews lately. And most of the reviews have centered on piano libraries. And I am so amazed at uh, how many uh, fantastic piano libraries are available. And today we're going to take a look at a special bundle from E Instruments, the Session Keys Acoustic Bundle. Say that about five times. The Session Keys Acoustic Bundle. Uh, is made up of three different pianos. You have a Steinway, you have a Yamaha CF series grand piano, and then you have an upright piano. And so we're going to dive in and take a look at these three beautiful libraries and uh, just, uh, just see what happens. So here we go. So you can see that uh, we are running in Contact, and I'm running the latest version of Contact, Contact 6. You load this up in Contact. It comes, um, it comes as a a single NK. I'm going to open the browser so we can see. So you've got Session Keys Grand S, which is the Steinway, Session Keys Grand Y, which is the Yamaha, and Session Keys Upright. They load as a single NKI, and I love that because it gives you uh, a lot more accessibility to things. So you don't have to you don't have to go drag and drop presets all the time because everything is kind of baked inside of the NKI. So here we go. hear that nice little bite. Got a nice little ambience going on there. That is in the effects section. So you have um, equalizers, you have uh, yeah, so you have a low frequency, uh, mid and high. You, so basically a three band equalizer. You have a stereo width. Uh, so, so we can adjust that and now, now that's mono there. Everything is straight in the middle. And now let's take it all the way to the other side. And you can, you can hear that just And you hear that. And really what is useful about a stereo uh, width adjustment is that sometimes the, the stereo image of the piano may be too big to fit in certain mixes. And so it's very good to be able to control that so you can just get, to, get it to sit right exactly where you want. Uh, so you have a nice reverb. And right here we have a piano hall. So that gives a nice space. So we'll, we'll turn it all the way. And very, now I'm going to just turn it off completely. So you hear how nice and dry that is. Very nice and dry. And so that reverb just really helps it. And that is another, another important thing because the reverb uh, being dry like that will allow you to be able to put your own uh, space in there. A lot of pianos, sometimes the room uh, overcomes the uh, actual sound of the piano, so it's hard to uh, find a place sometimes in a mix because you're dealing with the room. So this allows you to just take the room completely out. You know, I only have a sustain pedal, but you have a soft pedal. Uh, let me just hit this. Um, yeah, see. That really gives it a nice. Let's take it off. And you hear how that changes the tone. I 
I just love the round. It's got a nice, it's got a nice round. Very nice. Okay. You have a delay effect here. Yeah. And you can hear it. that gives you a little animation there. That's really cool. And all of these libraries, they're gonna have this, this same uh, type of layout for, for effects. Um, and I'm gonna just turn the stereo width off. And you hear the dynamics. Uh, so let's just close that and go to the settings where we were before. And you notice that you have the velocity curve settings, uh, the tunings, and um, yeah. You have silent keys and half pedal functions so that you can turn on. So if you have a variable a sustain pedal, then you can get that half pedaling effect. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. You know, you know me. If you've seen any of my other uh, piano videos, you know that I like that curve. And, and basically, it's for a hard, uh, hard action. So that gives you the full range of, of expression when uh, when you're when you're playing this. So you can play very softly. or just dig into it. And you hear that dynamic. You can back it down. See, you don't have to you just can barely touch that. And that's what I love because that way you get the full range of... Um... And that's what pulls it out of me when I can get that expression out of, out of the, uh, the library. So I'm gonna close that. And let's just go to another sound like, uh, oh, atm atmosphere. Let's check that out. Okay, and you see, you hear, you hear something, something happening here. It's that. So you notice when we switch the uh, preset to atmospheres, you notice that the it's called a pentamorph. It's a pentamorph control because you have like five different uh, sound uh, areas that you can, uh, and you hear the reverses going on. And that is in the, uh, the tonality part. So if you bring it over to just the acoustic, uh, then that's just the straight uh, piano. You have some of the mechanical noises in there. If you bring it all the way down here, that's all you'll hear is the mechanical noises, the pedals up and down, and the key releases and that type of thing. So let's go back uh, and then Ariel is a combination of reversed and the mechanical noises. And then reversed is uh, just going to um, give you the reversed samples here. But it's a cool way to blend in between. And then you can also assign that to a MIDI controller, uh, just like this. Let's just see. I'm just going to assign it to, uh, to a fader here. Uh, yeah, so right now, Yeah, you can automate that and just, uh, it just adds just another layer of expression. Um, so, okay, so that is the Steinway. That is the, the Grand, the Session Keys Grand S. And so let's take a look now at the, um, 
Session Keys Grand Y, which is a Yamaha. Uh, you can see it's a similar uh, layout as far as the controls. Uh, the effects are the same. Uh, the tonality is the same. Uh, you have, um, you know, control over the pedal noises and um, the releases, everything right here. Uh, you have the pentamorph control, and then um, you just have the same effects here as well. So let's just pull up uh, just the basic acoustic. And just at the first note, you hear. Now let's set up the uh, velocity curve. And instantly you can tell another difference when you get that velocity curve straight or, or curved. Bottom end is just really. Yamaha bite, that metallic, nice. Uh, I'm loving that low end. Yeah, there's nothing, yeah, there's nothing like, nothing like that. Um, okay, so let's just look at another preset uh, revelation. And, uh, let's, let's, you know, let's just do this. Again, you've got the tonality. Just very cool for some atmospheric stuff. It almost sounds like it's bowed. Let's do one more structure. Yeah, they're doing a lot with the tonality here. You can really hear it compress. Some delay, so you can get uh, get a wide variety. Um, that's different. That's different. Okay, so one more. Uh, Okay, I want to go uh, back to, um, let's go to the large hall. And that's just really pretty.
very nice. Now, I, I want to show you this as well. There's, there's two sample sets with the lid open, which, which we have now. And then you've got, um, and this is a, a different, uh, yeah. Wow, now that's cool. So it just puts it in a different setting. we go <laughs> okay now last but not least we have the session keys upright and I'm mainly focusing on the sounds um, of these libraries to give you an idea of um, yeah now this is you know that they say sometimes you need a grand piano but sometimes you just need that uh, that nice upright sound and I'm just gonna kind of play around with that same idea You hear how nice and dry that is. Yeah, that's cool. And, and here again, you've got two different uh, uh, two different styles of upright. So I'm going to uh, flip to this one. Uh, this is, seems uh, like they've opened it up a little bit more. Oh yeah, it's a little it's a little more uh, earthy. So that's got a nice character to it. Yeah. And here again, you have the same uh, set of controls the, for the tonality, the resonances, uh, the effects. And uh, so, yeah, so you've got different convolution effects. Uh, Like a radio effect, which is cool. Um, yeah, so you've got you've got a bunch of different things, uh, ice cold drones, and uh, so let's just kind of uh, check out a couple of those woods. So it just takes it and and almost like granular and the convolution uh, effects, which is really cool. So it just gives you a whole uh, whole toolkit here to uh, just to kind of uh, create your own sounds here. Okay. Yeah, so pure upright, close up. Oh yeah. And you hear that nice resonance is happening. It's 
just got a lot of nice air around there. Okay, before we leave, uh, I just want to show you a couple of things um, that they've added to, um, to, to these libraries. You know, every developer has uh, its own special way of, uh, you know, wanting to add some kind of animation or some kind of uh, functionality to inspire creativity, to inspire, I guess, inspire ideas. You're having a dry spell, so you just need something to kind of kickstart things. So they have what's called the animator. Now the animator uh, basically uh, sets up uh, uh, like sets of MIDI files pretty much that play patterns and they're, they're grouped into songs. Uh, you can come up with some really cool ideas. You can mix and match the patterns. Uh, let's say you like the pattern from one uh, style for the verse uh, because they've broken it down into intro, verse, chorus one, bridge, chorus two, and ending. So you can take and mix and match from different sets. Uh, so this is called Pop Flow. It's selected now for the uh, intro. So. And it kind of intelligently kind of hears your chord. Just some really nice patterns. Key switches are set for the octave, the minus two octave. Uh, so you can have a controller set up to switch those and you can uh... yeah very cool now the verse the verse pattern now if you'd use the mod wheel it increases the complexity yes you hear how that very simple and then you increase the mod wheel and then it it makes it more complex the pitch bend affects the dynamics how hard and soft that plays so you can you can kind of play with those dynamics with the pitch bend wheel and it's also uh, responsive to velocity as well yeah so that's that's a really cool um, a cool way to uh, just to kind of get some ideas and some fun ideas. And then you have what's called um, smart chords, uh, which is another. And you have different. Uh, and then you can assign those to pads as well. So you can have pad assignments and key assignments. So you can just have all kinds of sus and sus4. Yeah. So you can get real creative with these uh, Pianos and E instruments has really baked a lot into these libraries, uh, which uh, and you can turn that on and off there. Yeah. Wow, so that's beautiful. I mean, I just love bringing these libraries to you and just kind of playing through them and just experiencing them with you together. Um, I think eInstruments has done a great job. And uh, also, uh, you know, while you're here, uh, check out uh, the uh, video that I did on Vibrant, which is a, an eInstruments product for Halion and Halion Sonic. And it is, it is just amazing, the electric pianos and uh, vintage electric uh, instruments, keyboard instruments that they have in that library. But you can get the Session Keys acoustic bundle uh, today, and you can also get them individually if you want. So all the links are going to be down in the description below. And thanks for joining me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you next time.